Hi folks, this is Klaus at Top Hydraulics. We've got a super cool setup today. So we have an Infinity G37 here. We're going to show you how the roof operates. We're not doing it with a regular computer like you would normally do with a, a pull or push of the button or your car remote. We actually did something super fun today because uh, we're going to take this uh, top apart anyway and replace the hydraulics on it. So we've rigged a little bit to show you how everything works so what it is is the top is uh, moved by hydraulics that's the hydraulic pump in the rear with the two trunk cylinders and the two main lift cylinders and two locking cylinders next to it, them those cylinders move around to um, move the top and the trunk and latch the frame and so forth and you've noticed too that when the top moves there's the parcel shelf in the rear that moves around in mysterious ways and we want to demystify that a little bit and show you today uh, how it all works. What we have done is run power directly to the electric motors on the parcel shelf and on the trunk flippers and we've run power directly to the pump and to its solenoids uh, to do step by step the uh, movement of the top. So we um, have all these wires running into the car just for fun to demonstrate to you how it's done and um, to hopefully encourage you to um, and dig into this top if you ever have to it's not that complicated so uh, very briefly uh, you see the pump here I'll grab another one and I'll come closer to the camera with that the pump is somewhat fancy it's a um, heavy-duty electric motor and a pump with the reservoir you see the reservoir has oil in it hydraulic fluid with a minimum maximum marker there's some electrical solenoids up here the pump can rotate in either direction and the combination of which way the pump rotates and which one or two or none of the solenoids are activated makes the hydraulics behave in different ways and that's part of what we're going to show you next. So let's uh, get to it. Now the front lock where the uh, front of uh, the hardtop latches to the windshield is an electric motor and we have already taken a shortcut and uh, um, turned that manually. Um, we were a little bit too lazy to run the long wires to it, so that could be done by with electric wires as well, but we've taken the shortcut and uh, opened that, unlatched that manually. We'll show you in a different video how the manual, totally manual operation is done. The second shortcut we have taken is uh, the trunk lid in the very rear needs to unlatch in order for, the, for it to move backwards to retract. And the shortcut we took here was instead of running a wire to the solenoid that unlatches, we just ran a little string to the emergency release lever and we're just pulling on this cord and our trunk lid is unlatched. Now we're going to retract the top. To do that, we will turn our, have our motor go in a certain direction, turn on one of the solenoids, and once the uh, trunk lid motor runs, that will extend the trunk lid cylinders, that will flip back the trunk lid. Let's see if it works. There we go, the trunk lid comes back just the way it's supposed to. We stop right there. and. Um, at this point, actually, since the top will retract and in the end the flippers or elephant ears, whatever you want to call them, the extensions of the trunklet that are ultimately hiding the hinge uh, come out. We've run up electricity to the two electric flipper motors, one on each side, left and right, and we're going to extend those. There we go, flippers are out. Next we will retract the top. So have the motor going in the right direction, have the right solenoid activated. Um, that will now make the uh, top retract while the trunk lid is still being pulled back. So let me uh, demonstrate that. However, before we retract the top, don't forget the parcel shelf. If we were to uh, pull the top back now, it would 
pull down on the rear end of the parcel shelf. So we lower the parcel shelf first electrically all the way and uh, then we rotate it up. That is the second motor on the parcel shelf that now rotates it up and now we raise that shelf again a little bit we'll raise it actually i was wrong it is down at first when you retract the top then when the top comes to the highest position we raise the shelf halfway so that when the top comes in all the way it doesn't collide with the bottom of the parcel shelf so let's see we have the parcel shelf um, all the way down and flipped up Next, we retract the um, top. Here we go. We stop at about the highest position, raise the parcel shelf a little bit. I'm gonna double check that it's up high enough. I'll go just a hint higher, just to avoid any collisions. Yeah, this is a tad more than halfway up. And uh, we continue retracting the top. Top goes down nicely, is all the way down. Next, we raise the parcel shelf some more. There it is up. And next, we flip it back. That is the rotational motor on the parcel shelf. Beautiful, parcel shelf is down now. And last, we just have to close the trunk lid. Get the correct rotation on the motor again and Solenoids off, trunk lid closes. Ta-da!